skaters, it's Stace here from Next Edge Tutorials. In this lesson today, I'm going to be showing you how to start learning a chalk cha or otherwise known as an S step. So before we break down this chalk cha or S step, I want you to click on the link below in the description for your free PDF guide, the training session planner for figure skaters. This is going to help you organize your training session because I see a lot of skaters get on the ice and then after an hour they get off the ice and then they wonder what they accomplish. This is going to help you organize it. Then you can analyze it at the end of your session. That way the next day your training session will be even better. So when you're ready, give it a click. In figure skating, we have two different types of chalk chalk or S-step. The first one is a closed S-step or chalk chalk, where we push onto a forward inside edge, the free leg comes behind, and we step on a back outside. So that is a closed chalk chalk where the free leg comes behind the body. And then we have an open chalk chalk. So it's a forward inside edge to an open back outside edge. So those are the two difference. One is closed and one is open. And in today's lesson, we are going to start breaking down an open chalk chalk or S step. So let's move to the bar barrier and break this down. All right, we are at the barrier. And just so that I don't sound repetitive, I'm going to be referring to this as an open S step. So what are the edges again on an open S step? They are a left, forward inside edge to a right back outside edge and then again step forward inside to a right back outside I love being here because you can hold on to the barrier and you feel more confident and comfortable so we are just going to get comfortable with hitting those edges going inside to outside inside to outside now that we are comfortable with that, let's dive in a bit deeper now. When I hit a forward inside edge, my weight is over that left leg, then I'm going to use this right free leg to reach and step to that back outside edge. Then I'm going to bend, push off to that forward inside edge. Bend and press, bend and press. Getting that extra re-bend before you make the step is going to make it so much easier because a lot of skaters forget about that re-bend and then they wind up just going step, step, step. And they're like, I can't hit edges. I'm not doing the S step correct. Just adding that re-bend will make a world of a difference. Another thing that will make a huge difference right away is the stepping out. I know it's hard to do at the barrier, so we're gonna focus on it even more when we get off the barrier, but you can just start reminding your muscle memory. From here, I want to go push and step beyond my body, then push back, step beyond my body, press and step. It's almost like your weight fully over that left leg here. Then as you bend and step, it goes in the middle and then you push over to the right. Then push off to the left. So it's constantly transferring from one side to the other versus this. You wanna feel that weight change distributing between that left leg and right leg. Now, free leg. What is happening with our free leg? It's going to do that reach. Then it's gonna come into the body. You're gonna re-bend and then you're gonna reach again to step back. So it's this reaching action that you want to. I know that this is a lot to take in, but if you start at the barrier and you just remind yourself of this extra re-bending, the pushing off and the free leg, it's gonna make a world of a difference when we take it off the barrier. All right, we are ready to come off the barrier. And if you can jump right into those S steps right away, that is amazing. You are super talented. But if you're anything like me, I needed some extra steps on how to do it correctly and really understand the mechanics of this S step. So the first thing that we're gonna focus on is that forward inside edges. And I have an exercise for you. So we're gonna go push inside edge, stretch. Push inside edge, stretch. 
inside edge, stretch. Feeling that space between the legs, stretching, stretching. I don't want it, I don't want to see this squeezing here. We don't want to squeeze our legs together. You want to feel some space between these legs. So that's the inside edge. So you can go down the rink doing those lovely inside edges. Now the next is the back outside edge. So we're gonna take our arms, we're gonna lift up, we're gonna go push under, feet together, push back and open. Then push under, push back, bring the free leg in. Push under, push back, bring the free leg in. So with this exercise, the main focus is that back outside edge, opening up, stretching through here, bringing that free leg in and feeling your back against the circle. You don't wanna be inside your circle while doing that back outside edge because that step forward is going to be really difficult to do. So I want you to follow me because I want you to see it from a different angle. We're gonna do some inside edges and then we're gonna switch and we're gonna do our back outside, push back and hold. So let's go. Inside stretch, feeling your shoulders work, stretch. Stretch, stretch. Now we're gonna switch it up. Under, now here's that open, push back, press around. Push under, push back, press around. One more, push under, open up, and then press it. So these are the next two steps I want you doing once you come off the barrier. Now that we're feeling comfortable with that forward inside edge and that back outside edge, it's time to add the S step. And we're gonna keep that same exercise with that push under, push back, because it's going to help keep speed. That's what makes the S step so hard. There's no pushes in between. So we're gonna do the push under. We're gonna focus on this push back. And then we're gonna go S step. And push under, push back and S step, push under, push back and S step. Again, I want you to focus on the head here, looking where we're going and then push under, push back, look where we're going. With the shoulders, with this S step, very much open on that back outside edge and then they come back for that forward inside edge. Then they come back and forth. And a great little exercise is just going right here, feeling those hips and shoulders against each other because this is the feeling in that S step. So we're gonna go back down the ice doing the exact same thing, focusing on the bending and pushing, changing our weight and our shoulders. So we're gonna go push under, push back, S step, push under, push back, S step, push under, push back, S step, push under, push back, S step. You have to remember that this is an open S step. It's not tight and closed. You want to make sure that you're very much open with your legs. Don't get tight because that is like the biggest mistake, mistake skaters do is they get really tight in their legs and then they go on flat edges. Nice and open. Open with the step and then coming back. Actually, I wanna show you the difference. I'm gonna do one where I like squeeze my legs together, which a lot of skaters tend to do. Whereas if you just open up a bit more, you'll notice immediately a difference in it. So this is what I see a lot of skaters do. Good push under push back and then they squeeze, squeeze. And then push under, push back, squeeze, squeeze. So everything's really tight, but remember the name. It's an open S step. So we want to be open with those legs. Another mistake that tends to happen in this S step is that when they step forward, the free leg goes behind you. You wanna make sure that when you push off of that back outside edge, you want this free leg shooting in front. Make sure it doesn't lag behind and go back, then forward. Use that outside edge, push into it here. Push off that edge so that that free leg 
really helps you out. Now we're gonna go down the ice. We're gonna do our push under, push back, two S steps, and then we're gonna go push under, push back, three S steps. So let's start with the push under, push back, push under, push back. We're gonna go one, two, push under, push back. Now three, one, two, three, push under, push back, three of them again. One, two, three. Very good. So you're just building up to that. We started with one, got comfortable with that, then went to two, and then went to three. Another thing that you wanna focus on is making sure you're keeping your direction looking down the eyes on those S steps. I wanna see you taking that head and directing it down the ice where exactly where you want to go. You don't wanna be going back and forth in that S step, it makes it so much harder. Look what happens when I use my head this way. It's way too much going on. So make sure that head is looking exactly where you want to go during this S step. All right, now that I know the S step and what's going on with my feet and my upper body, we're gonna put it all together. Let's build some speed and then do S steps all the way down the ice. So. And here we go. Again, I'm keeping my head looking where I'm going, focusing on that re-bend every single time. That's always definitely harder to do, but when you combine everything and you have everything working and you know where it's going, it's easy to do them going all the way down the ice. All right, that is our lesson on learning an open S step. Now remember, this is an advanced step, so please be patient with it. It took me years, honestly, to feel comfortable on that back outside edge and then pushing to that forward inside edge. But I promise you, if you tick away at it every single time you're on the ice, before you know it, you will be doing S steps. So take your time, be patient, and enjoy the process. Thanks for watching Next Edge Tutorials and happy skating.